Namaste to all of you. So we've been understanding about this enlightenment journey. To be enlightened, to be a Buddha, means to be happy in all situations. That is a concept of laughing Buddha. A Buddha is always happy in any given situation. So unless there is certain clarity, unless there is a certain light within you, you cannot be happy. That is the nature of the truth. The light dispels the darkness. So in this transformation series, we are trying to dispel all our darkness and trying to be closer to the truth, embracing the light within us. So we have practiced, experimented mindfulness, silence, and we are doing intense meditations. And we have understood the yamas and niyamas, what to do, what not to do, how to live our day-to-day -day life, and how to steer our life in the right direction by having right principles, right ethics. I've been practicing meditation for say about two years now, but I find there's a lot of chatter within me. And I know that, no, I correct myself, that no, I'm meditating, why, sh why am I thinking? I must not think anything. But then it again comes, it again comes. I don't know how to clear that. And sometimes my head becomes very heavy when I'm meditating. But I like to sit for meditation and I really enjoy. I'm at peace after I do meditation. And they guide me. So you should not, uh, you should experience an empty mind without chatter. It's an expectation, madam. That expectation comes from your mind. That is the very nature of the mind, is to create a lot of expectations. And you know very well, every expectation leads to some kind of frustrations. Everybody goes through this chatter invariably. How do I handle it? What do I do? Right. You simply come back to the breath. Every time you notice the chatter, you come back to the breath again and again and again and again. Let it take one month, let it take two months, let it take 10 years, let it take one lifetime. Doesn't matter. Your attitude should be that. If you are having this attitude, I am least bothered about the outcome of meditation. Whether meditation happens or not, I don't care. I am just sitting for meditation. Whatever happens, let it happen. If you have this attitude without any expectations, then you experience meditation. Many people, they understand that they are doing meditation. Meditation is not something they do. Meditation is not doing. Meditation is something which happens. You can sit for meditation. You, can, you prepare yourself. You prepare the room. Clasp your hands, cross your feet, close your eyes and sit. So you can sit for meditation. But meditation is something which happens on its own. That meditativeness happens when you drop your mind, when you drop your expectations. You surrender. When the mind surrenders to the breath, then meditation happens. So when I say I am doing meditation, that means your mind is still in control. So you have to let go of it. You say, I am sitting for meditation and let the meditation happen on its own in the right time. Why am I bothered? So what to do for your question, what to do is drop all the expectations. Be sincere. I know you are sincere. Drop all the expectations. Be sincere and regular. That means every day you practice. And then surrender to the breath. Let your mind surrender to the breath. So that means when you are noticing thoughts, surrendering to the breath means when you are noticing thoughts, you are not feeling agitated. You are not worried about your thoughts. The thoughts are there, but you are not worried about the thoughts. You are having a relaxed attitude. You are having a cool attitude. You say, I don't care. Let the thoughts come. Why should I be bothered? I'm least bothered about the thoughts. You say, any number of thoughts, let it come. I'm least bothered. But the moment I notice the thoughts, I will come back to the breath again and again and again. It's either you or me. We'll just figure it out. So that should be the attitude. Thank so you, you are just giving a direct challenge to your mind. It's either you or me. That means... Who is giving the challenge? The soul. The Atma is giving the challenge to the mind. It's you or me. Let us see. You create any number of thoughts. 
that's your choice i am least bothered and i will always come back to the breath i will witness my breath because witnessing happens from the soul don't open your eyes and come back to the breath again and again then the realization happens the meditativeness happens you are in meditation mera question ye hai sir ki meditation mein kabhi jab bhi shanti bhi ho jati hai to ek virana sa lagta hai ki shunyata lagti hai ki kuch nahi karna meditation bhi nahi karna dhyan bhi nahi karna that's my question very good that's a very right attitude so sit for meditation and do nothing but sir जो श्वास क्लोज योर क्लोज योर आईज आंखें बंद करके आराम से बैठ के कुछ भी नहीं करना दैट शुड बी द एटीट्यूड बट इफ यू थिंक ओ आई डोंट नीड मेडिटेशन व्हाई शुड आई सिट फॉर मेडिटेशन दैट इज नथिंग बट योर इग्नोरेंस एंड अरोगेंस सो दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ योर ईगो सो व्हिच वी विल डिस्कस सोनर और लेटर सो बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट इफ यू फील लाइक आई डोंट नीड टू डू एनीथिंग देन सिट कंफर्टेबली क्लोज योर आईज एंड डोंट डू एनीथिंग meditation happens when you don't do anything meditation happens when you don't do anything what happens only your breath happens you are alive every moment you are breathing you are doing just imagine you are sitting and you are doing nothing the breath is the only thing which is happening and the witnessing happens when you do nothing the witnessing happens uh my question is regarding to mindfulness um i'm not able to practice mindfulness like when i'm working my mind is always uh, my my mind is always thinking about something just for a few seconds when i think about being mindful and then again the mind is chattering so is there any tips it is not so easy to practice mindfulness do you think enlightenment is easy do you think enlightenment is a cake walk you take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes so first of all you have to understand you cannot practice mindfulness overnight or in few days it takes consistent efforts it takes sincere efforts so don't have any expectations that you should experience that awareness within few days of practice there will be moments when you are practicing mindfulness you will have lot of thoughts and you will be in multitasking mode but whenever you catch hold of yourself see that is the definition of mindfulness mindfulness means first the first step you become aware that you are thinking too much that is the first so you become consciously aware that anything any activity you are doing you are not fully into it you are thinking too much so that is the first step so you become aware of it that is the first step and then with that awareness that you are thinking too much you make a conscious effort you make a conscious effort to use all your will power to be in the present moment totally 100% and without any judgments so you know there are judgments you know there are thoughts but becoming aware of the thoughts is the first step in the mindfulness and making using your will power is the second and using your will power you are putting all your efforts to be in the present moment your 100% awareness in the present moment this is the third and while you are doing it any judgments you are getting it again you pull back yourself using your breath to be in the present moment again 100% to be in the present moment again and again you are making this effort so this is how it happens for everybody who practice mindfulness in the initial stages they notice oh i'm getting too much thoughts i'm not able to practice it that is the first step that is right and after that comes you use your ichcha shakti you use your will power to bring your 100% focus in the present moment experiment be sincere in this 21 days you sincerely practice anything and everything you do you practice mindfulness you can start with small small activities for example you can start with while you are taking shower be 100% mindful while you are cooking be 100% mindful while you are eating be 100% mindful while you are walking be 100% mindful while you are drinking water drinking juice be 100% mindful when you are eating an apple be 100% mindful do with small small take small steps first then mindfulness becomes part of your life it takes time have patience 
and be kind to yourself sir i have a question मेडिटेशन में बॉडी की हीलिंग होती है यदि कोई डिजीज है बॉडी में तो तो क्या यदि बहुत डीप मेडिटेशन में नहीं जाते हैं ट्रांस में नहीं जाते हैं तो क्या हीलिंग स्टार्ट नहीं होती है सर योर हीलिंग हैपेंस वेदर यू गो इनटू ट्रांस और नॉट योर हीलिंग ऑटोमेटिकली स्टार्ट्स इफ यू मेक एन एफर्ट टू सिंस इफ यू मेक अ सिंसियर एफर्ट योर इंटेंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट if your intent is i want to do meditation i want to sit for meditation i want to heal myself i want to go through the self healing process i want to learn my soul lessons i want to grow evolve and i want to be happy in life if you have that sincere intent then healing happens so you don't need to uh, go into the trance you just sit be with your breath the more you are with your breath see when you close your eyes you conserve energy when you are with your breath you absorb energy you maximize energy so the more and more you are with your breath the more and more you are getting energy cosmic energy the more and more you are getting cosmic energy the more you are healing you understand this point every moment you are with your breath the healing is by default happening because you are receiving cosmic energy and the energy is healing you so you don't focus on the healing process you focus 100% on your breath my question is like uh, while doing meditation being a uh, mindful and being aware there are subtle moments where i get into a more like i don't understand is it if it is a sleep or <laughs> the meditation so how to come out of it you don't need to come out of it you enjoy it that is the gift in your meditation but then like yoga nidra. that's called yoga nidra where you are the difference between a normal sleep and yoga nidra is in sleep you are not aware that you are sleeping but in yoga nidra you are perfectly aware that you are sleeping so that is a gift in the meditative process so during this yoga nidra your body your energy body goes through a quick recharge process okay so normally the beginners of meditation or people who have very low energy because they are doing lot of multitasking they have lot of stress they have lot of worries they deplete lot of energy they lose lot of energy so for those people who have very less energy yoga nidra is a gift where the recharge happens very quickly so whenever you are sleeping in your meditation sleep happily without guilt and once the energy recharges automatically you become awake that moment continue meditation sleep happily and after you naturally you will come out of the sleep you don't need to make any efforts once the body recharges automatically you will come out of the sleep and the moment you come out of the sleep don't open your eyes continue meditation or if you have any other work you know then make sure you are doing more meditation for example you are doing one hour meditation in the entire one hour you are sleeping for example then after you finish the one hour sit for another session of meditation in the evening or in the night whenever you find time you are in the right path it is natural don't worry about it do more meditation and you will quickly come out of this patterns and you will become aware the entire meditation session so you mentioned like um, we need to do like one work at a time and um, and focus on that work my question is like there are some repetitive work that i do every day like i wash vessels for example like i spend like at least one and a half day one and a half hour in a day to wash vessels every day so all the cooking vessel and all those things um so is it okay if i listen to music or um do like uh, listen to the audio book or something like that when i'm doing because you told me like don't judge the work but it is really boring that is like the truth it is boring to watch the visual every day like one and a half hour so i am trying to like take it away and uh, by doing something else on the same time so i while i'm listening to the music it is kind of giving me peace and i'm doing it so is that okay, okay. or not okay a normal time listening to music and doing other things simultaneously is okay 
but okay. when you are practicing mindfulness okay so okay. what you are doing you are making an effort using your willpower you are making an effort to be 100% in the present moment so when you are doing the repetitive tasks whatever you do you have to do only that so that means you are focusing on the work your focus is only on the work not on the music not on anything and when you are doing repetitive and mundane tasks naturally there is some inner judgments that inner chatter i am feeling bored you know why am i doing this so that is the inner chatter that is an inner judgment so that is the moment you should become aware of your inner chatter become aware of your inner judgments and use your will power again to focus on the present moment so here the goal is to witness the goal is to raise the awareness this okay. is an exercise of self transformation this is this is an exercise where you become completely aware the more and more you raise your awareness the more you'll notice that actually you are enjoying that job you are not feeling bored it takes some time so for your question the answer is very precise no listening to music no doing anything but in the normal time yes you can do but when you are practicing mindfulness you are 100% focus absolutely on the present moment becoming aware of your judgments becoming aware of your boredom especially when you are doing repetitive tasks mundane tasks that is the moment you should have this beginner's attitude you know remember i explained in this slide you should always have this yes. beginner's attitude for example that is the first time you are washing your vessels how you feel how alert you are how curious you are so that should be the attitude the beginner's attitude i am doing it for the first time so when you bring in that then it helps you to be in mindfulness okay yeah i was able to do that when i am doing when i am practicing the mindfulness the day that sunday you told us to like do the fasting and don't talk and then i did notice like i was very surprised to notice like i have like so many thoughts coming up while i'm doing uh, other work um, i almost caught myself like every 10 minutes that oh my god i'm thinking something else um so yeah thank you yes when you consciously do that on the day you allocate for it you are able to do it now slowly bring that mindfulness into every day of your life you tell yourself i'm going to give myself this 21 days so in this 21 days i'm going to sincerely practice it let me see what is the outcome you should always be in the experiment mode let me experiment what changes it gives to my mind am i going to when uh, when i'm doing the work in mindfulness am i feeling tired no actually i'm not feeling tired so do this experiment am i feeling tired or not and then i'm doing this work but actually i'm feeling more joy so where is this joy coming from oh i'm becoming aware i'm becoming aware of my subtle thoughts i'm mean, becoming aware of my thought patterns my emotion patterns wow what a great freedom so do as an experiment so that you yourself know what is all about i was able to uh, uh, find the difference like i always used to think like i didn't do so much work today but i was like feeling so tired but on that day i felt like really really good yes so, see, thank you thank now, you for teaching us you already know it so continue it make it part of your life it's so easy thank you sir okay when you when you have the intent when you have the intent when you have the sincerity everything becomes easy but when the sincerity is not there then we have thousand and one excuses so the difference between uh, mindfulness and uh, concentration what is the difference you concentrate on a particular task when you concentrate on a particular task 100% that is called mindfulness so it's one and the same in that case yes you can call it concentration or you can call it focus or you can call it your 100% efforts okay into one particular task okay so it's all synonymous okay fine i have another question uh, i started my meditation journey from 10th of uh, october with some 45 minutes session for 41 days then i upgraded myself in after one month uh, three times a day and then eventually four times a day that means each meal before once i do and then one before going to bed so initially i was you know dozing off and all this 
experience for there and then it came to one sort of a stabilization of late i'm not able to sit more than 30 minutes so what should i do now this to overcome simply don't open your eyes whether yeah, you do meditation that, that or I'm not doing. doesn't matter i never that's open all. that's all. so far that's all okay and some sort of pains will come all these things are coming so that Especially, means you are going through if you are going through some pain that means some healing is happening so you should oh, be happy fine and uh, i have two experiences uh, i have one big family wedding function and i am so much worried about my you know, body color sarees and ornaments and all heavy ornaments but after your program i stop worrying about that why should i care about others and i stop all things and let's know i can listen only my mind and i feel very comfortable and happy and second question sir when i start my walk morning walk i listen so many beautiful bird voice like crow and crows and bulbul and all and in between some sweet fragrance are coming like parijat and madhumalti sir is this my imagination you are doing perfect the first is you got a freedom that you are no more impacted by others opinions that's a great freedom Okay. you care only about yourself you don't care about anybody else you don't care about others opinions but you only care what you feel and you follow your heart you follow your mind you follow your feelings so that is a great freedom thank you congrats for that thank you sir thank you the second is when you are walking mindfully you are focused you are not only focused on your walking process how the feet is touching the ground and how you are feeling in your body you are not only mindful of that but you are also mindful of the surroundings mindfulness helps you to increase your awareness so when your awareness increases what happens you become aware of the sounds you become aware of the fragrances they are always there but you become aware for the first time that is not yes. your imagination the fragrances from the flowers are always there the birds are singing always beautiful but you have become aware for the first time yes sir yes. okay it is not your imagination continue thank it thank you sir thank you my question is you know i'm to be frank i'm happy healthy and i'm leading very you know graceful life till i come to the worst till is retreat workshop but you know i'm feeling somewhere my soul has taken you know very little prarabdha and for more time and you know uh, since you know my husband is like very comfortable person and he is like buddha he never respond or react only if it is necessary he open his mouth and son is also like that only i'm feeling you know i i'm in very comfortable position and i'm happy in all the ways and after attending the class i'm feeling you know since i am in a comfortable position i my soul is not you know taking any challenges to learn or maybe it has taken only few prarabdha or learnings and more time so i need some clarification on this sir so people around me are you know learning so many things my soul is not learning anything because i am in a comfortable position very good as being very good son and you know my relatives everybody supports me and even though i am you know very expectation i i was like that but my my mind has changed sir so i need some clarity on this my soul evolution yes madam let me ask you something imagine you have become yes. enlightened what will you do then what will you do next i will enjoy that journey yes naturally so if you are already enjoying what is the worry the very purpose of you doing meditation the very purpose of you attending the retreats the very purpose you are practicing mindfulness the very purpose you are practicing silence detox all these things you are practicing is to be happy 
to be happy all the time and if you are happy you are already happy then what is the worry you don't look into Please, others and see let me complete let me complete if you are interfering that means you are not listening first the way to ask a question you should you should be very short and precise the way to listen the answer you should you should be in utmost stillness unless you are like a sponge just like being in absorption mode you are not you will not understand what i am trying to say okay your mind is little agitated so that's why it is important you are in a space of stillness so that you have this awareness you are asking your question is sir i want clarity that is your question to have clarity you need to have a relaxed mind you need to still your mind then you will have clarity so the more and more you do meditation the more and more your mind becomes relaxed then you will the clarity arises very naturally you will see that i am so gifted in my life i am so blessed in my life so out of this blessing what can i do i am already happy but how can i be more happy so whatever the blessings you have you share it with others if you have free time teach meditation to others if you have extra resources share it with others who are needed get into the service mode then you will experience more joy okay so the clarity comes i am already happy the happiness is on different levels happiness on the body level mind level intellectual level soul level okay i am happy on bodily levels my happy my family members everything is fine the mind level everybody is treating me nice everything is fine intellectual level yes i am attending the spiritual classes i am getting understanding something in intellectual level fine but for soul level happiness yes i am doing meditation i am getting soul level happiness but to have brahmananda to service so that is the clarity you will get so the more and more you do meditation the more naturally you will get clarity but you understand if you are happy and if somebody is learning don't focus on others somebody else is learning more lessons i am not able to learn don't invite challenges in your life don't invite challenges but when challenges come on its own you handle it with a smile okay madam focus on doing more service uh, so my question to you is like uh, yoga is meant for body and uh, meditation is meant for mind but uh, as per like uh, the conversation has been happening uh, it has been known uh, that uh, we get healing self healing uh, after doing continuous uh, meditation uh, so if uh, meditation is helping us in doing the healing process so uh, uh, is there any need to do yoga uh, so how does it differs that's my question to you what is your understanding of yoga my understanding for yoga is that it's meant for a uh, physical body uh, uh, that is my understanding okay i'm asking what is yoga yoga is asanas uh, to, uh, we, uh, while watching uh, perform asanas while watching breathe the very simple definition of yoga means union when yeah. you are when you are in union it is called yoga when you are in union with your body union means you become one when you are in union with your body it is called hatha yoga when you are in union with the music it is nada yoga when you are in union bodily with opposite sex it is sambhoga yoga when you are when two minds two different minds are in union two people are in union for the whole lifetime it is called samsara yoga when you are in union with the wisdom with the gyan when you are reading a book you are listening to somebody's experience you are in total union with that it is called gnana yoga when you are in union with all the subtle bodies we have seven bodies physical body you can see but the other bodies you cannot see because they are subtle if you are in union with the physical body that is hatha yoga if you are in union with all the subtle bodies your astral body your mental body your causal body if you are union in all the subtle bodies that is raja yoga raja yoga means king of all the yogas if you are in union with the work you are doing that is karma yoga 
any work you are doing you are fully focused on it you become one with the work mindfulness is karma yoga i understand it's a union of uh, the activity what we are doing uh, with the uh, so mind and soul so basically to my understanding everything is meditation only uh, the way you have explained uh, so now uh, my further question uh, which is coming up in my mind that for example there are people who have been sitting for the whole day to work for the work so in case if you are just doing meditation sitting only and that is also union uh, so in that case uh, that uh, other part gets missed like walking or uh, you know doing physical exercise you, uh, yoga so i'm very much confused on this area yes not every, first of all not everything is meditation not everything is meditation raja yoga is meditation when you are in union with all your subtle bodies you are in a meditative state every yoga we discussed about all this yoga every yoga leads to happiness if you want your body to be fit healthy and you want to increase the strength of your body the flexibility of the body then hatha yoga helps if you want to calm your mind your mind is very agitated if you want to calm your mind then raja yoga helps so different yogas are for different purposes but every yoga leads to happiness and you are asking the question then why should we do walking we can focus on the work then why should we do all those things yes if you come to the stage where you are 100% focused on the work in a non judgmental way you are least bothered about the outcome of the work but you are 100% is focus on the work then you are reached the stage of enlightenment so meditation mindfulness and all those detox processes and silences are until you reach a certain stage in your consciousness until you get a certain awareness about yourself until you get enlightened after that you don't need to practice all those things after that you don't need to do meditation also meditation is just a tool to help you reach a certain stage to help you dispel your darkness and come to the light to help you understand about your true self that's it after that you don't need to do anything your life becomes meditative every moment you are aware every moment you are meditative every moment you are in ananda brahmananda but until you reach that stage you have to do all those things this is the paradox first you have to do when it comes to a particular stage you have to drop everything this is the paradox so until you reach the stage you, you have to take help of all the yogas if you are sincere and if your intent is to celebrate your life if your intent is to be happy in your life these are the tools if you say i don't need all those things then you don't need to do anything or you might ask a question sir i am already happy in my life then why should i practice all those things yes baba you are happy but if you practice all those things you will be happier i have one question uh, about the crystal that uh, you, the photo of the crystal that you showed it to me okay my a question is uh, uh, what was the purpose of uh, you know uh, of that showing that uh, uh, crystal uh, to all of us uh, you would need a crystal meditation uh, on sunday so that's my first question so that crystal was gifted to me to help the people who are sincere in their meditation so the crystals are energy beings so when you meditate in the presence of a crystal you get more energy like when you meditate inside a pyramid you get more energy when you meditate in the nature you get more energy when you meditate with a group you get more energy so crystal the very purpose of the crystal is energy to get more energy and because we are on the zoom physically you cannot meet before i used to do only i used to do crystal meditations only physically before the lockdown but after the lockdown happened i started doing this experiment where people started asking me sir we want to connect to the crystal energy so i started doing this experiment where i shared the photo of the crystal and where 
they gaze into the crystal deeply and they still get connected to the energy of the crystal you see matter is nothing but energy manifested energy manifested is nothing but matter so matter is energy energy is matter so energetically you are connecting to the crystal so that is the purpose i showed the crystal okay sir uh, it was uh, any particular purpose 30 seconds i remember you showed it for 30 seconds so because you don't need more than the gazing to without blinking your eyes without blinking your eyes you gaze into the crystal so 30 seconds to 1 minute is sufficient no th- then when we meditate uh, we we imagine that or uh, the energy no 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 yeah okay okay I, in my guided meditation in my instructions i gave very clearly said very clearly you gaze for 30 seconds to 1 minute after that you forget about it okay. okay after that you have to be with your breath okay forget the crystal will do its job on its own and you should not even think about it okay gaze it forget it be with your breath surrender to your breath fine right. my my second question is sir uh see i was in rameshwaram when we saw the spatical linga you know there is a particular moment they show you for a very short period they show you this spatical linga darshana so uh, <coughs> is it a crystal because i felt that energy all spatika means crystal yes spatika means pure quartz i am deepthi from bhopal yes go ahead now yes. thank you uh sir i was saying that uh, my kid is 6 months old so i think i can still do uh, silence practice because when he will become one year or so i will not be able to because i have to answer his questions and all but right now only uh, gestures like smile uh, kisses hug holding can be done with him and uh, i think he'll be fine maybe some kind of sound if he requires yes yes i can follow the silence yes you can follow the silence but make sure you are always in a loving gesture towards the kid yeah i yeah yes you I can you like can that. practice it okay thank you so much okay that will benefit right yes so here the focus is you make sure you are not troubling the kid that's all yes. but as long as you are always available to the kid touching hugging kissing practice it my question right now is that i have been facing a lot of opposition over many years in my life like i feel there is lack of support and i though i have uh, gained strength over the years uh, facing all these things but still there are moments when i feel lonely and uh, there are vulnerable moments also so is meditation uh, an answer for all this or I, I i also feel like have i accumulated so much of bad karma over my past lives that I, there is so much of opposition and uh, lack of support in my life your soul is very smart in the soul planning stage it has planned all these challenges so that you are compelled to go within when the outer circumstances are not pleasant then the only way out is to go in so your soul is smart to plan it this way so that you come to the meditation path so when you say i'm feeling lonely so what does that mean that means you are also not with yourself nobody is understanding you nobody is with you and you yourself are not with you so meditation helps you to connect with your true self meditation helps you to connect with your true beauty your inner beauty the soul beauty yourself your atma so when you are with yourself you don't need others acceptance you don't need others support meditation is the answer continue man thank you sir thank you so much i think uh, still we have more questions but uh, we will uh, finish the session today we will continue we have 21 days every day there will be an opportunity to ask questions so don't get disappointed just write down your questions or there is a possibility your questions are already answered when somebody else is asking we have integrated pretty much well for two days with all our experiences mindfulness we understood a little more we fine tuned our understanding so tomorrow it will be a, a very interesting topic ego understanding ego okay so from there 
we'll continue our transformation thank you very much enjoy your day namaste to everyone Thank you.